Hello, God bless you. This is Father Clay Hunt. And this message goes out to the people of Brackettville and Kinney County as regards to the elections, national, state, and local. And you need to understand that these things have come to be uh, critical in our relationship to God. So most of us were raised in this part of the country as Democrats. So the Democratic Party was for the poor and for the working man. And it's not that way anymore. Uh, it has come to be that the platform for the Democratic Party on the state and national level are in direct opposition to the Lord, to the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that don't fly with us. And we can't put our hand into that list. We put ourselves to be against God and they ain't good for anybody. And so when we talk about the national level, there's no way that we can vote for a Democratic candidate on the national level and even on the state level because of the party platform. Why is that? Especially for the moral issues of abortion and every sexual immorality, specifically if you want to say transgender and the homosexual agenda. Those things uh, separate us from God straight away. The Lord loves all of his creation, but he requires for us to follow in the way that he established. He who alone is the way, the truth, and the life. And we don't have the freedom to set our ideologies, our way of thinking, and our way of living in opposition to these revealed truths of the Lord. And so that's why we don't have the freedom to vote for the one I call Kedmala Harris. And sometimes, you know, we have to, we're forced into abstain from a vote. And as for me, uh, although it is much to my disliking, I'm going to have to abstain for a couple of votes here. I ain't going to vote for Tony Gonzalez. He's the incumbent for the 23rd district of Texas represented to the U.S. Congress. That guy's what we call a POS. Very bad fellow. And I'm definitely not going to vote for Limones, Democrat. In this race to the state representative for our district in Texas, the 74th district. That's between uh, the incumbent Eddie Morales Jr., born and raised Eagle Pass, Texas, and the challenger Robert Garza, born and raised Brackettville, Texas, living in Del Rio, Texas. There ain't no way I'm voting for Robert Garza. He's running as a Republican, as an opportunist. He's always been a blue dog Democrat. That's the way he thinks. That's the way he is. You've known him all your life. There ain't no way we can vote for that guy. He's lacking in substance, to say the least. And so I was, uh, you know, I, I set up a meeting with Eddie Morales Jr. too, in the hope that I could visit with him and somehow come to, to a place where I could vote for him. And so I did meet with him, and I spoke with him, and, you know, I'm not going to be able to vote for him because he is a hardline <coughs> Democrat party platform man. Most recently, he voted against the heartbeat bill here in Texas. And in every way, he holds the line to the Democratic Party platform, the Democrat Party platform. And I was sad to say I walked away from there, uh, you know, and I told him, I ain't going to be able to vote for you. And I encouraged him to have conversion in his understanding and the way he thinks. I told him, there's nothing wrong with you to run as a Democrat. And when you're talking about the classic issues in governance, 
let's say education, economy, foreign relations, you know, but when it comes to the moral issues, you don't have the freedom to set yourself against what's true to God. And he said, I'm not going to push my religion on, any, on anyone. And I said, either you run as a man of integrity or you don't have integrity. You run for who you are and you, you govern on the moral principles and the faith that you are, or else you're just a facade of a man. Two-face, if you want to say like that. And in fact, I told him, you will be responsible to God as everyone, not just according to your own personal sin, but as the seat that you hold, you will be of a higher accountability to God, and even exponentially higher. Because you're not just talking about yourself. You're talking about a position of authority and leadership over the masses. And you put your hand into these wicked things. Supporting transgender in our schools. Supporting the bloodlust of abortion. No. We can't vote for those things. And so unfortunately I'm going to have to abstain from those two votes for I will not put my mark to any of those men in those two races and then when it comes to the local level this is this is a, a important issue for our community so I've been seeing these signs go up for these four guys all over the place you know and they say they're also opportunists. You know as well as I do that the springs have gone dry these last couple of summers. And the reason for that, we've been in a tremendous drought. We've been in a drought unparalleled since 1950s. We hadn't had rain. And as soon as it rained this last time, five inches, the springs filled straight up. That's just a reality. And in fact, I'm going to tell you the problem I see with these four men and why I believe they're very dangerous to our community. All of them are imports. They never, they weren't born and raised here. They moved here and even recently moved here. The one I'm going to mention to you first, Troy Hibbets. You should never have allowed that that man to, to be teaching our children in Brackettville, Texas. He's an atheist and he's a big time liberal. You might want to call him a libtard. That's what that guy is. He don't think right. So the first mistake you made in Brackettville was allowing for this guy to teach your children. He don't think right. And now you want to put him into some position of governance to affect our community? You need to think about that. It should be. I would, I would love to see an uprising of parents to get that guy out of there. Whatever happened to great science teachers like Mr. Burks, like Mr. Frerich. I'm a scientist myself and a man of faith. And this guy is offensive to both. He's offensive to God and he's offensive to authenticity of science. Should have been run out of town a long time ago. And I hope that you realize it will be very dangerous to our community to put a man of that substance in any position of governance over the people of our county. Richard Gonzalez, I don't know that guy. I know he's a Native American Indian. We love Native American Indians. And just like all of us, we were not a faith to our Lord from time immemorial. Long ago, it was only the Jews who belonged to God. But Christ opened that door of faith and familial relationship to God to every people and nation and race and tongue, and that includes to the Native American Indians. And to my knowledge, could be wrong,
but I don't know if that guy's a Christian. And I know he messes around with other things like ancient pagan things to the Indian peoples of old. That ain't good. And he puts himself in the group here, in the picture with these other guys. And by association, that ain't good. I think he's trouble. I think all these guys are trouble for our community. I don't know that cowboy, Perry Menley. Don't know him. Same thing. I don't know one thing about him. But I know that it ain't good that he puts himself in association with a group of guys like this. I think they're going to be big time trouble for our community. For the beautiful little community of Brackettville, Texas and Kenny County. To the guy David Palmer. I don't know that guy either. I know that his wife is a radical Democrat or that she believes in the Dem Democratic Party platform. I know she ain't at all pro-life. And the same thing, I believe all four of them are big time trouble for our community. I hope that you consider these things before you just go in there mindlessly putting your mark to any name, especially with just the intensity of emotion that the springs have run dry in the midst of this tremendous drought that we've been in. We pray for rain. And when rain comes, the springs will be perfectly healthy and full again, as demonstrated after this past big rain. That's just the reality of it. And I know that there's a guy named Will Conley who's backing with big money and support to these guys to take over the water board in Kenny County. I don't know Will Conley personally, but I know I've been told that he's a hardcore Democrat that makes him not good in my book. And I want to say to all these guys, even though I don't know you, you're welcome to come find me anytime if you've got a problem with what I'm saying or if you just want to talk anytime, you're welcome to come knock on my door. But I want to tell to the people of Kinney County and Brackettville, Texas, whom I love very much. And I desire for your greatest good, first and foremost, that is to the Lord. These guys, I believe, are in the same. I believe that each and every one of them probably will vote for Kamala Harris. What I'm saying is, I think they will be trouble for our community. And I don't think they think in the right way. I hope you can understand what I'm saying. And in this month of October, and in these critical elections, may Almighty God bless to you and your family. May the Lord bless our beloved Brackettville, Texas, and Kenny County. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Adios. Bye.